What's up guys, Jocelyn right here. In today's quick video I'm going to show you how to save the uh, DSS SHSH blobs using the new ticket box application that was updated and um, as you can see the author pushed a new version the 0.4.2 with rosy tag and iPhone 7 support. So everybody is actually pointing that you should get your 10.2 blobs and now if you don't like to use one Conan's website or if you don't want to use the um, um, DSS checker application which is command line then you can use this one that is actually a user interface one and it's pretty simple to use and I'm going to demonstrate now after you download it you can simply open the DMG file and open the app or you can install it as I did now I'm going to connect an iPhone sorry an iPod and uh, this is this is an iPod Touch and it's running 10.0.2 so as you can see I do not need to update some of you uh, asked me in the comment section down below whether you need to update in order to save the bloops for 10.2 or not nope you don't need to update as you can see I'm on 10.0.2 but I can still request the bloops for 10.2 and I'm going to click request SHSH and it will request them automatically for me uh, now keep in mind it will also request them for 10.2.1 which is something good and it's good to have them in here knowing that they are valid. As you can see I saved them for 10.2.1 and 10.2 and now I'm covered. You should do that on all your devices and um, keep in mind that if you already updated from 10.1.1 which is the recommended firmware for jailbreaking to 10.2 especially on an iPhone 7. Uh, then you should stay there, do not update to 10.2.1, you're not completely screwed according to look at the desk code that is now actually beefing with uh, Ionic again. But between all the beef you have this. Just to be clear I'll repeat that 10.1.1 is the best firmware for the iPhone 7 and any other device if you want a jailbreak. But 10.2 is better than 10.2.1 if you want a jailbreak. Now, even if iOS 10.2 is not supported on iPhone 7 for jailbreak, stay on 10.2 since the kernel exploit works on it. And another disclaimer, if I say iPhone 7, I mean iPhone 7, not iPhone 6s, 6 and so on. And uh, yeah, he got a little bit um, out of this world. And um, yeah, this is basically, you can download the... Uh, new ticket box from the description down below as you can see the author pushed the uh, the newest version and if you do have the previous version and you want to auto update it I think you can also go to ticket box and check for updates but unfortunately for me this doesn't work if I go in here as you can see it appears and disappears never checks out for any update which means that uh, you need to download it manually as I did the DMG mount it and simply open it connect the device and as you can see it isn't updated but it can still get the blobs. Now as you probably seen it's important because you need to save them just in case something happens because for example uh, if you're on tempo 1.1 but you do something wrong that will break your device and by that time iOS 10.2.1 will be signed but 10.2 will not if you do have the blobs you might have a chance to go at least 10.2 which will still be jailbreakable so this is basically it I really I really hope this will help and uh, yeah do not forget to subscribe to stay updated I'm going to keep you updated on, on anything related to jailbreak or to downgrades and uh, be sure to check out my um, downgrade related videos for future restore and how to save the blobs using other tools like one Conan's website or the um, Dim Stars um, DSS Checker available right here. You probably remember it. It's a command line, by the way. Let me quickly show you this. You can still save every blob using this one for any iOS that is signed, but it's still command line, which means that it's harder to use than the um, than the user interface as you can see. So this is how it looks like, but if you don't like to use this one that is command line, then ticket box is pretty easy to use and it was also updated to work with iPhone 7 and has support for the rosy tag, which means that the bloops saved with this version are compatible and are working properly. All right, so this is it guys, I'm Joe Snow, do not forget to give this video a thumb up if you liked it, if you don't give it a thumb down, until the next time, peace out.